Hi everyone, welcome to Medscape Medical Students Series Best Practices. We're sitting down with Dr. Tao Lee today from Scholar RX, and today we'll be talking about USMLE RX, a question bank style resource from the group that brought you first aid. Uh, thanks so much, Dr. Tao Lee, for sitting down with us. Neil, uh, nice to be here. Okay, um, Dr. Lee, can you just tell us a little bit about the philosophies behind USMLE RX? Yeah, so uh, USMLE RX, the question bank and the uh, flashcards and the videos, you know, it's the only resources developed by the authors of First Aid. And so it has a lot of the same high yield philosophies that First Aid has. So it's really, you know, everything that you need to know to do well on the USMLE and, and, and really nothing else. Uh, you know, uh, one, one of the key things about the First Aid philosophy and the USMLE RX philosophy is that it's completely student driven. So everything in US RX is driven by students. Uh, you know, uh, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of students by now have provided some of their wisdom, uh, their experiences, you know, what they learned and, you know, what they learned the hard way uh, about, you know, doing well on the boards and pass it on to next generations of students. And so uh, while, while, you know, while I'm the quote unquote adult in the room, uh, since I've been around with first day in US RX for, for many years now, it's really the, the student authors and the student editors that that decide what's really high yield, and and they and then and then they communicate to that to students in a very directly in a student to student way that you know that obviously students understand and 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 can benefit from. So that's that's a little bit about our philosophy. Yeah, that's very exciting because you have students who just took the boards who kind of know how the exams kind of shifting. So that's that's very reassuring for all, every single medical student out there. Exactly, and that's exactly how we keep it current. Uh, yeah, that, that's perfect. And that kind of segues me into my next question is what should students not do using USM ARX? Well, um, you know, I would say that, um, um, I would say the, the one thing that you shouldn't do is skip the explanations to the wrong answers. Uh, you know, so even if you got that question right, um, let's say, you know, let's say it's about somebody who has, who presents with some sort of dyspnea issue, whatever. And there's a lot of things that can cause shortness of breath and whatnot, yeah. right? And maybe the answer is asthma, but it could have been COB, could have been another restrictive lung disease or some sort of interstitial lung disease and so forth. Mm -hmm. You still want to take time to read through why the other answer wasn't the correct answer, right? And yeah. the nice thing about USLN RX is that we go into a lot of detail why, why asthma was correct, but why interstitial lung disease was incorrect or, you know, uh, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis was incorrect. Uh, you know, uh, and so because on the board, you know, the, they may give you a question where asthma is a distractor, but you know, idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis is the correct answer. Now yeah. you know in what situations IPF is the correct answer. Uh, so the you know, so there's a lot of learning in in US RX in the explanation, not just because from the parent, but all the secondary and so all, all the distractor explanations. So go through that. Don't skip those. Those are all learning nuggets for you. Yeah, that sounds like excellent advice. Um, I'm sure our medical student community is definitely very excited uh, that you decided to join us on the best practices. Uh, just one last thing, do you have any final points or lasting things that you want to say to the Medscape medical student community? Yeah, no, I mean, uh, you know, you know, obviously, um, you know, uh, you know, medical school is a, a, a is, 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 is a tough thing. There's a lot of learning to, to be done. You know, whether it's whether you're using first aid or youth learner X uh, uh, or any other resources, try to integrate everything you're doing because on the boards, they are trying to integrate all those concepts. So the better you can integrate the pathology, the physiology, the clinical presentation, the diagnosis, the clinical management, the, you know, the better you're going to do on the exam and the better type of physician you will be actually. Uh, so, um, uh, so, you know, those are, you know, that's a practical nugget that I think applies regardless of whatever resource you're using. Uh, and then the last thing I would say is that, um, the follow, you know, going back to the philosophy of first aid and US RX is that, you know, this is community driven. This is a, a, a group of students that have gotten together to try to help other students. And so, you know, we, we, we very much believe in paying it forward. So if you, uh, if you have feedback for us, if you have ways we you think we should improve these resources from a student student passport uh, uh, perspective, pl please share it with us, and we, we try our best to make sure that the student voice is elevated and, and heard by other students. So thank you. Well, well, thanks so much for sitting out with Medscape, Dr. Lee. Uh, everyone else, definitely check out our other video on first aid. Uh, see you next time.
hey, what's up? Thanks so much for checking out the video. See you next time. If you want to find out more information about other resources, check out the link right over here. I know the USMLE journey is not fun, but hopefully these videos are helping you out. Let us know in the comments how to make them better. See you next time.